Hello, hello, it's Thumbplit here. Here's an item on number theory. x and y are positive integers such that x squared minus 7y squared equals 1. Find all positive integer ordered pairs x comma y where x and y are less than 200. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, this type of equation of the form x squared minus dy squared equals 1 is an example of a Pell's equation. And there is a special way for us to solve these type of equations. Now, the given condition is that uh, d here shouldn't be a perfect square. Because if d was a perfect square, then we can use the concept of factoring. So Pell's equation here assumes that d is not a perfect square. Now, suppose we have the minimal solution x comma 1, sorry, x sub 1 comma y sub 1. So the minimal solution meaning the smallest possible values of x and y. And then we can write it as uh, a number alpha equals x sub 1 plus y sub 1 squared of 7. And this result is very, uh, very much seen in algebraic number theory. Now, uh, if we take powers of alpha, we'll be able to produce or generate other solutions to this equation. And in fact, if I square alpha or I raise alpha to the second power, I simplify into this form, x sub 2 plus y sub 2 squared of 7, then x sub 2 comma y sub 2 will be a solution. Same for a cubed, sorry, alpha cubed, I'll be able to get that if alpha cubed is x sub 3 plus y sub 3 squared of 7, then the solution is x sub 3 and y sub 3. So before everything, before anything else, we need the smallest solution. And this requires a little bit of trial and error. But a little bit of trial and error would tell us that 8 squared minus 7 times 3 squared. So that's 64 minus 7 times 9, that's 63. That is indeed equal to 1. So we have a basic solution here, 8 comma 3. And we'll be able to get that alpha here is equal to 8 plus square root of sorry, 8 plus 3 square root of 7. And we'll be able to use this to generate other solutions. So since we have alpha equals 8 plus 3 square root of 7, we're just going to get the first few powers. Since we have uh, the given restriction for x and y, x and y, they are both less than 200. That's the given condition item. So suppose we square alpha. We can use uh, this property and this property to square in the cube. So to square alpha, we're going to get x squared, which is 64, plus 2xy. So 2 times 8 times 3 squared is 7. That's 48 squared is 7. And then uh, y squared, so 3 squared is 7 squared. That's 63. So working out the maths, this is equal to 127 plus 48 square root of 7. And then for alpha cubed, we can try to put, uh, to simplify. We eight, uh, x cubed, that's already equal to 512. And then uh, for the rest of the terms, we're still going to add something. And in fact, the whole part is already greater than 200, which is the, the which is which x and y are less than 200. So we can already conclude that um, whatever this equals to, this will not be part of the solution since x and y will already exceed 200. So there's only actually there's not actually only two solutions less than 200. In fact, from 8 comma 3, we were able to generate only one other solution where x and y are, are less than 200. In fact, we'll be able to get from this that it's going to be 127 comma 48. So, well, we can surely trial and error will work. However, you know, it's a uh, very big number. So it, we could all thank uh, Pell's equation for providing us with uh, this like uh, condition and properties to get uh, to generate all the other solutions. So to, to wrap up, we only have two solutions, 8 comma 3, which is our minimal solution. And then we have another solution, which is generated, which is 127 comma 48. And these are our only two solutions. Well, if in fact, Pell's equation, if we continue this trend, we'll be able to get alpha, sorry, alpha raised to 4, raised to 5, and so on. So in fact, there are infinitely many solutions to this. But since we have a given condition, uh, for x and y, we only have these two. And these two are the final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!